star fragment. Oh. I was told to stop by the docks and check what was underwater in the comment section. And I expected, you know, oh, like a, you know, a, a uh, the Sheikah two-handed weapon. But what I got was a, was a, uh, a star fragment. Okay. And a gold rupee. Well, uh, thank you, commenter whose comment is on screen. That's really good. I was not expecting something so good. Is there anything else? I mean, I'm content with what I got, but man, that's, that's amazing. Come here. Get this reward. It's awesome. Let's see. In one of these bookshelves, I heard that there might be a book that will allow me to do flawless intros. And it just has like, it's a compendium of intro ideas. Is, is this the section for intros? No, I think this is the section for fan fictions. I think that might be over here. Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Last time, what did we even do last time? It's been, I'm sorry, it's been two weeks since I've recorded Breath of the Wild. In case you were living under a rock, uh, I have been taking a bit of a hiatus from the series, uh, because a couple weeks ago I had my wisdom teeth removed, so I was unable to record anything. No one's home, so we have the blue fire. <laughs> well, anything coherent. In the meantime, in that high, in that brief break, I was I was able to uh, sit myself down as soon as I got home from the surgeon uh, or the surgery, and I recorded. A bunch of different games while high off of the anesthesia and pain medication. So I released that. I managed to release uh, some content of of Toilet Yoshi, which I recorded long in advance, and where he and I played through. Uh, we played through some Mario Kart 8 together, and then coming out in about half an hour as I'm recording this is just a, a montage of me playing uh, some random Wii U games for half an hour, and n none of those Wii games are Breath of the Wild. So this time, I have set out, we're going to be heading towards the heart of Hyrule Castle. This center part, like the center 50% of the map, we have not traversed, because we have been looking for the Royal Guard gear. And in the meantime, I've been told that the, the final piece of Royal Guard gear is at the very center of Hyrule Castle. In fact, it's right before the boss. You have to you have to do some climbing before you enter the area that would uh, initiate the cutscene to find the Royal Guard helm or whatever it is. It's probably not a helm. It's probably more of a hat. And so we're going to be grabbing that. Also, oh yeah, I, I remember what we did last episode. Uh, we got all the memories in a fantastic scene which I've edited. I, no humility here, no false humility here. I am very proud of that scene. And if you missed it, go watch uh, episode 123, Ghosts of the Past, because it was fantastic. And we got the cap, tunic, and trousers of the wild as a reward for beating all 120 shrines. And in the meantime, and you probably saw a little bit of that in the, uh, in the Pal Got Pickled video, I have upgraded it to full. I figured it made it didn't make sense to upgrade it as a part of the episode, especially considering that we get this legendary armor, this legendary gear after completing everything. It would make sense that it kind of comes fully upgraded. So I did that without making note of it. And my goodness, was that difficult to upgrade? It required a, a bunch of random, hard to find. Also, while I'm here, I've been told that you can get behind that that area here, so I'm, I'm trying that. Um, it required a bunch of random, very hard to find gear, and ugh, my goodness. And then it required two pieces of, uh, of the dragon stuff, like dragon scales. There we go. That's that. Uh, dragon scales, dragon talons, dragon fangs, and dragon horns. And it was two of each, for each piece of gear. It was crazy and the reward is kind of lame to be honest master sword beam up that's lame they should they should have given us something actually good uh where i i was told that i can go down there and i'm not sure how it's not up here is it no that that wouldn't make sense i'm going the wrong direction you know what 
it may not be possible to get into it from this side. I just thought of that. Looking at the map, this is the one loose end I wanted to tie up because it, it's such a mystery. You can see stuff behind this pink, uh, this, uh, this calamity goop and there's something there, but we can't access it. So I think what I need to do is climb out of here the normal way, that way, and then circle back around and go through the other entrance. I think that's where what we're supposed to do. And that's like the last thing that we haven't done on this level. And then we'll move over to the very final level of Hyrule Castle, the 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 highest uh, the highest heights that we can ascend to. Okay, so we're out here. Oh you, oh you cutie, cutie. You can just just look, go away, just go away. Okay, so we're on this level. I don't like how the camera. I have to turn the map all the way around every single time. So we just jump down here. And then there should be another level, another stair step bluff? Precipice? I always think of a precipice like a vertical version of Florida, so I don't think this is a precipice. Like a, like a, a, a pinnacle that juts out over a ledge. Okay, so there should be an entrance right around here. I don't think we've been here. Sadly, I can't activate hero path mode while I'm on, while I'm on this, but I don't think I have been here before. So I, I think we're going the right direction. Wait for it. Die. Uh, I'm using the Hyrule shield, or the Hylian shield. I, I, uh, there's, there is a video online, uh, and it, it basically shows the, the RPG syndrome of getting great gear. It's like, oh, you have, I have 400 potions. I'm not gonna use them in the final boss fight because I might need them later. <laughs> and, and that's so true. And so I'm going to be using the Hyrule Shield. It's, or the Hylian Shield, sorry. Because it's it's so good. And I've, I've also done some reading on it because I wanted to know if once we lost it, once we lost it and it broke, because it can break, if we would never be able to get another one again. And I have found out that there is a quest that opens up when this thing is destroyed that allows us to get another one. In fact, it allows us to buy them from shops. So I think think that if we're able to buy them from are we going oh wait 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 we passed it we passed it huh wait right i'm reading this correctly yeah we we passed it all right that's a bit odd i didn't see an entrance but i i will take the game's word for it oh wait oh there wait wait oh how did i miss this how did i miss this let's let's grab these <laughs> as they load in. That's one of the weirdest things about Breath of the Wild. Sometimes you hit, sometimes you do things like, uh, if you would just boot up the game and equip armor, um, it will refuse to load and it will only load when you unpause. It, they did a couple things in at least the Wii U version. Wait a minute, have we been here? No. The minecart track that we're familiar with isn't here, I don't think. Right? Yeah, no. This is a different minecart track. Bomb arrows, thank you. Yeah, also... Um... These chains... That's kind of concerning. These chains are either for climbing or for keeping slaves tied down. So I guess Hyrule... I mean... I guess Hyrule was a slave society? Maybe? Uh, oh, I mean, they did have prison- uh, like, I guess they- they had prison labor, and that makes sense. Oh, boy! Uh, can I say this? I really want this ride to stick around. Uh, can I shoot it to keep it in place? I think so. If not, I'll just get stasis ready. Got it. Sweet. That was- that was pretty cool. Okay, so you stay there. We have some ice, we have a rare deposit. So yeah, I, I was right. Uh, I was told by the, it wasn't actually a comment that tipped me off to uh, there being a way to get behind that that barrier. It was actually, believe it or not, oh, you're just, a, you're not a chest. It was, believe it or not, my father. Because my father plays this game. He plays it a lot. In fact, he plays it way more than I ever have. Uh, that's kind of disappointing. I don't have a real piece of gear. Um, he plays it more than me because I, I and I know this for a fact because he has a uh, hero's path mode completely filled out in fact it's so filled out that the other day he was just trapped he was just wandering around and 
uh, there was a Korok seed in a place that Hero's Path mode showed him as never having gone before. Um, that's, this is kind of, okay, I can still melt it. Yeah, I thought there was a Korok seed here. That was a bit awkward. And he was wondering why, and there were entire giant gaps in the map where he had never been. And I said, you know what? You know what, Dad? I'm pretty sure your hero's path mode is uh, is out of memory. And l looking at the bar, oh, you can cook here if you want. Looking at the bar, that was very true. He was out of, he was out of space. Ugh. And it, it was it was erasing stuff he had uh, he had already been to. Oh really? I was that close to the end. Wait, that's a stone talus. That is a stone talus, uh, I believe. It's it's kind of sad how easily I can recognize these, but this is definitely a stone talus. Yep, and it has a bunch of babies. Oh, we've never seen that. That's cute. Oh, it's one of these stone taluses. I think I have a spear. Yeah, I have a spear. Okay, so this isn't that bad. Uh, I'm gonna quit. I'm not going to be using the high the uh, of the wild gear for the entire thing. I mainly just wanted to wear it to show it off. Uh, let's stasis you. Yeah, I just want to knock you down. Right? Yeah. Okay, that, that should be close to kill him. Come on. Come on. Okay, I knocked him down. Yeah, spears make short work of these guys. If you're not using spears, it's going to be very difficult. But if you are, it's it's a pretty much a cakewalk. Where did the little baby go? I thought you had a baby. Wait, what? What? That's... Oh, man. I shouldn't be surprised. I really shouldn't. Because there have been so many... I, I almost made a comment about this when we got the Hylian Shield. But this is a very odd dungeon in that it works like a z actual Zelda dungeon. It's not like... Uh, it's not like everything else in Breath of the Wild where if you kill an enemy, like, nothing happens. There's no fanfare. I mean, unless it's a camp. No chest spawns or anything. But in this... We killed an enemy, we killed a boss the other episode, and a chest spawned right in front of us. And, and this feels like an actual Zelda dungeon, instead of... Oh, oh I, I knew they would do that. Instead of a really weird uh, half-breed. Let's open this. And this spear looks cool. Shard of Farosh's Fang. This would have been very useful a couple of, or uh, in between episodes, because, again, I had to upgrade the, the Of the Wild set. So I'm not expecting too big of- yeah, yeah, there it is. There it is. Thank you, Dad. Thank you, Dad. For telling me this. No commenter told me. And I, I want to know if any of you knew, or if you just hadn't watched that part of the episode, or maybe you were, you know, you were tabbed out and not really paying attention, but you can get through here. Well, good. I I was so perplexed by that, and I'm, I'm happy that they did that. Sweet. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> Alright, so where are we going with the the rest of the episode? Since, you know, we're probably like a third through it. Uh, I am going to be... I'll meet you back at a point... I'll probably meet you back at Zelda's study. I think that sounds fair. That's a good starting point. Why? Apparently Guardian tur Turrets shoot twice. Good. Oh! The double hit always gets me. These turrets, if they don't succeed they do try try again and they will keep shooting normal guardians only shoot twice if they're panicked like if they don't see their enemy or if they're hit by something that they don't know what hit them like sometimes if they're just randomly shot by a bokoblin they will turn and shoot the bokoblin i forget about you i've defeated you three times before and i'm gonna defeat you again with my triple attack bonus you are not cool you're lame you're lame-o Stupid lamo. I'm gonna ignore this again. <laughs> I'm gonna really anger that commenter. Okay, so we're climbing up here, and this is our this is our ticket. We don't have really. I don't think we have any other lore to get to, unless unless Ganon has a diary, which I'd be fine with. Uh, I've I've come to really appreciate that Ganon is in this game, which I bet none of you thought you'd ever hear me say, because Ganon saved them time for uh, doing exposition on a new antagonist, because this game is really about Zelda. It is not about Ganon at all. Uh, 
I could use Revali's Gale, but I don't think I'm going to cheat. I'm going to climb this naturally. Uh, because the game is about Zelda. It's not about Ganon at all. And, like I said, that's, that's why Ganon is in the game. Because people know who Ganon is. Like, he goes back to the very first Zelda game. So, if they don't have to explain the antagonist, then they can spend more time um, going in, uh, exposing, or not exposing, explaining Zelda's backstory, her origins, her, her conflicts. Oh boy, this is going to be close. There. That's the, the only way to get around that lip. Okay, come on, stamina. Good. And now we'll fly over there to this guardian turret. Uh, I think I might just shoot this guy with uh, an ancient arrow. Yeah. They're annoying, and I'm pretty sure I'll fall on my face. I'm pretty sure that there are going to be a lot more guardians to come. So if you want to get your fix of me killing guardians, if that's what you love to see, don't worry, there will be, there will be more to come. So at this point, we are already... Oh, we're knocking on Ganon's doorstep. Uh, in fact, we're a little bit too close to for comfort because I want to spend a little bit of time exploring this level. We're probably going to be ending the episode Sanctum. Wait a minute. Oh, that's probably Ganon right there. Oh, yeah, I don't... I should not walk that way. That is way too close for comfort. There are some... There's still some towers left. I want to know if there's another Lynel as well. Uh, um, um... Um, let's kill this guy. Oh, boy. Kill this guy. Whew! What? That, oh, okay. Okay. Oh, I got my stuff. Yes. That's all I really cared about. Okay, you, sir, are a nuisance. So, one thing I've been thinking about is uh, the method of which I am going to be defeating Ganon. Because that's, that's been up in the air for me. Uh, I... Whenever I fight Divine Beasts, or sorry, the, the Blights, I try to hold some of my max strength back. Because a lot of them, thinking of looking at you, Vomido, are easy. They die in... If I were to use my full strength, they would die in three hits. And that's not fun to watch. It's fun to be able to see an enemy go through their paces and go through all of their different phases... And you just can't do that when you're using ancient arrows or bomb arrows with a five-shot weapon and just overpowering the boss. So it's it's my goal to well I, I thought about nerfing myself a little bit by using the the heroes or the of the wild tunic uh, and and set, but that's also not quite doing my my build justice because if I'm doing that, it's not only preventing me from getting a a 1.8 attack bonus, but it's also literally gutting my stats. Uh, my my build is all ancient gear, so if I'm using something that doesn't give me that 1.8 boost, I am just using a worse build than the uh, than the Lionel build, and that's not cool. That that's too much of a nerf. Oh boy. Okay, I dodged it. Uh, I I am kind of done with this dude. Oh, that was cool! Look at that! I, I shot him and reflected it. That was sweet. Yeah, arrows. Okay. Uh, let's shoot that. I think we're yeah we're on another level, so I can I can jump down here. This is what how they intend for us to lead up to everything. So the I I kind of want to fight another Lionel. Have we been up here? Yeah, we have not been up here. So there's another Lionel in there. Which we will be fighting momentarily. Chest! Ancient arrows? I could kind of use a couple for... Nope. Bomb arrows. They're very insistent on giving us bomb arrows. You know what I'd love to see in here? I'd love to see a gold Lynel. I think that those are those are master mode specific enemies. But I would love to see it in here. Gold Lynel. Come on. S Silver? White man. White maned Lionel. Okay, I can deal. It's been a while since we fought anything besides a silver. Uh, this goes up to 120, with and with a triple attack boost, it increases to 180. Right? I think. No. Yes. Yes. So this does 180 damage per hit. 
Uh, I've I've worked out. I've learned a couple things from Ryan because Ryan uh, just got a switch and he's been playing through. If you don't know who Ryan is, uh, who are you? But he just got a switch, and so he's been doing a lot of research in the game. He's not trying to learn anything from comments. So one thing, one of the things he learned was uh, that the Master Sword doubles whenever it fights any calamity-related enemy. Wait. There. Oh, cool. Thank you for killing them. Uh, now, Lionel's, while it says in the lore... Whoa! Whoa! That's new! That is new! He, he went to attack and then charged me. That is awesome! Okay, I want to shield bash you. Come on. Oh, you can shield bash that? Oh! I was under the impression that you couldn't. Uh, so, he's been doing some research, and one of the things he found was that uh, while Lynels are corrupted by the Calamity, the Master Sword does not... You guys... Jokers... The Master Sword does not double its... its power when around them. However, Hyrule Castle has a couple of exceptions uh, with it. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, one of which is, while you're in here, the Master Sword's power is always doubled, and it gets increased durability always, as opposed to just when you're fighting ancient enemies. Uh, also, Champion's Blessings have a uh, halved cooldown, so it behooves me to use them a lot. Uh, we're going here. So I, I can use I can use them with reckless abandon because then Revali's Gale should have like a three minute cooldown I think if I if I have done my math correctly. Okay, climb up here. Is there anything up here? Once again, uh, we're probably not going to be fighting Calamity again in this episode. I have not started a timer uh, because I trust that Future Pal will be cutting around, and and I can um, know the point where I should stop. But come on, come on, Link. Thank you. So yeah, those are those are just two of the properties with that. Uh, the Master Sword only doubles its power when it is fighting Guardians. I knew this was up here, because it's always up here. And that means that the Master Sword has a power of 120 when you're just in here normally. Uh, and then with a triple attack potion like I have, that is doubled to... Uh, or not doubled, it is 50% additional, which brings it up to um, 180 attack power which is above and beyond anything I have. Unless I am specifically fighting a Guardian, where the uh, my Ancient Weapons get an additional 30% attack buff, and or my Guardian Weapons do, and my Ancient Ones get 50%, uh, the Master Sword is the go-to weapon to use in, all, circ in uh, all other circumstances. What was that, Link? What was that? What did you just do? That was weird. I did not press jump there, and he just kind of warped. All right, so as we're reaching the end of this episode, I I want to I want to end it off with getting the the gear. I I want to end it off with getting the um the royal guard gear. So I'm going to take a, a quick uh break, look at the comments, get the specific instruction and then I will meet you back where we find that. So I was unable to find the exact comment. I, I scoured my uh, the most recent episodes where I believe they they dropped the comment, and I I couldn't locate it. So I am going to speak, uh, trying to remember what it was. I believe they said that it's in or on one of the spires near the final boss room. You can get out of my way. Alright, this is our route. Our route is just going to be climbing straight up this way. Hopefully we will not run into the cutscene. That would be bad. That is not what we want. We want the Royal Guard gear, and that's it. So, climbing up this way. And then, Rivali's Gale. There is a Korok Seed right here, which presumably we can get to without losing everything. So, I'll place... Uh, you know what? It's probably... Yeah, it's probably just on that. Yeah, it's just on that. So I don't need to, to place a travel beacon. Climb, Link, climb. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Yeah. Okay, so we now know that we can traverse the top of Hyrule Castle safely. 
we're, we're fine on that front. Also, you can see I have a ton of Korok seeds. I have 79 just in my inventory. That was our... Get up! Uh, get up, get up, get up. That was our, one, our 518th Korok seed. 518th. We are that far. Okay, we can go in this spire. Do I want to? No. There's a... Uh, no ladder. I don't want to go in here, though. I'll do it. I'll see. I think we should be fine. Yeah, we're fine. Yeah, there's nothing here. Alright. Okay, so we can go in this one. Oh. Do you see that? Oh, man. Dollars to dozens. That's Calamity Ganon right there. Wow. We can see him. Uh, bye! <laughs> I am out. I am done. Uh, skip that noise. I am not... I'm not about that. Maybe we can get a better angle on... Ugh. I don't know why that scared me, but it's... This is a different form of Calamity Goop. This is red. And it, it does not share the same pattern as the other stuff. This is like... This is Ganon Extract, I think. I think we can cook with this. Maybe we could use it in a recipe. And there's a platform. Yep, this is it. This is it. Let's get the final piece. And we'll still climb higher, but this is... Oh, it's not! Oh! We need to go further. Oh, man. It's weird. It's so weird seeing... I, I assume that's clammed again. It's at the very center of it all. It's so weird. I, uh, this this moment, I just haven't seen... It, it just has felt like it was so far away, you know? Is there... Are we too high? I, th I have a feeling that we are too high at this point. That it's not going to be around here. I mean, I'll climb to the top, but I don't think that... That's going to do anything for me. You know? Wow, I'm so high, it's cold. I mean, isn't that just the story when you're high? Korok's- yeah, okay. This has has- this has has to be one of the highest Korok seeds in the game. Booyah! But that's not why I'm here. I'm not here for my 519th Korok seed. I'm here for the Royal Guard gear. The last piece of armor is actually on the second floor of the- Final boss room, the area with the big orange dot on the map. Be very careful when going for it. Entering the first floor will trigger the boss. You have to enter the second floor from the outside. Keep uh, Go around the outside of the room and keep climbing up. The second floor is a smaller room with a pile of goop with tendrils coming out of it. The chest is by one of the guard statues of the room, or in the room. You can walk around this room freely, so don't worry about triggering the fight. Therefore, what I've been seeing this entire time of the tendrils is not the boss. We have to enter from the second floor, which is presumably this. We must be very careful. If I get the smallest hint of a cutscene, I am going to reset. But it looks like we should be fine by entering this room. Ugh, I'm scared. He did say go... Th oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. He said enter from the side. I'm... I'm gonna listen to what he said. I'm entering from the side here. I'm gonna go back up. There is a pillar here. And I'm gonna enter from that. Actually, uh, this pillar, because this is closer to the chest. So, we just saw the chest. We know where it is. All that's left. Okay, this is the room where the door is open. All that's left is to walk in very slowly. And very fearfully, because this is... Scary. These tendrils terrify me. We've never seen anything like this before. Oh boy, I don't like it. But this is our chest. The Royal Guard cap. It's a beret. <laughs> this spiffy cap is part of the uniform for the Royal Guard, the Hyrule's Royal Guard. It's lighter than it looks and easy to move around in. It's rather rare find. And we cannot upgrade said armor. So, whatever stat boost we get, we get right off the bat. Charge attack stamina up. 
Okay, well, it's it's not great. We get that from the Barbarian gear, and the Barbarian gear is actually good. But it looks very dapper. Look at this. Look at how swagalicious I look. I think you can even dye it, so this is, this is like the, I'm riding around Hyrule on my beautiful horse armor, and I am, I throw loaves of bread to the commoners. That is what this armor is. And I like that. Okay. Oh boy, that is it for this episode. I don't want to shoot it. I can shoot it. Okay. That is it for this episode. Oh man, my my nerves entering that room were on edge. <sighs> part of part of me doesn't want to end the game, and and so walking into that room, I uh, just it was not something I wanted to do. That is going to be it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if if you enjoyed this episode in any capacity, share it with your friends. It's, that was weird looking. Share it with your friends. Show them your favorite video. Oh, man. But for me, I am going to cool my nerves a bit. Maybe eat some food. And then... Next episode... On a Monday or Wednesday... We're walking in that room with all of our gear equipped. The best of the best gear that we have. And we're beating the game. This is it. This is what a year and a half, what 124 episodes have led to, is walking into that room. Thank you so much for watching, and join me then. What is that? I was expecting a monstrosity, but I wasn't expecting this. Meet Ganon. The Great Calamity, the Scourge of Hyrule.